I know you guys get tired of looking at the inside of the car, so here is an outside view. I am outside of the car for once. Yes, I park in front of fire hydrants. You guys want to see something interesting? There's a tree. There's litter. There's a pipe. Here's a pond with water in it. Good morning, you sexy bitches. I wanted to let you guys know that there's gonna be some changes coming up to the channel. Uh, when I originally came up with my channel in 2006, I never planned on doing vlogs. I made a couple videos public, but most of my videos are private and they're like me and my friends and shit like that. It wasn't until I met everybody's favorite dickhead that my channel took off. So after I was in one of Dan's videos, like all these people started flooding to my channel. I was like, shit, shit, shit. I need to hurry up and come up with like an intro and some sort of logo, whatever. And I had some previous graphic design experience, so that helped because I could do all that shit on my own. But it is time for an upgrade. So hopefully, like here in the next month, maybe two, uh, I'm probably going to update the intro and I'm going to update the logo. I was kind of thrown into this whole situation of doing vlogs and I would not have it any other way. I love this shit. I'll die for this YouTube shit. I'm just kidding. I don't want to die. And other than the overall look of the channel, like everything else is going to be the same. I'll still be doing vlogs and shit like that. It's just going to... I need a brand. I need something that's recognizable. So I woke up this morning and I started making some coffee. I love sitting out front and watching everybody go to work on like weekday mornings. Everybody looks so pissed when they have to go to work. <laughs> so while I was in the kitchen, I was making coffee and I turned on the news and I love the news. I love the news in the morning because they always started out by saying, good morning. Now we're about to tell you why the world sucks. And normally I just have the news like playing in the background. I never really pay a lot of attention to it. But what caught my ear this morning was the news reporter said verbatim that there are protests in Milwaukee because over the weekend officers shot an armed individual. I stopped mid poor and looked at my TV like it was giving me excuses. Now at the time that I'm doing this vlog, which is Monday morning, there's not a lot of information that has been released about this, like not even the body cam footage has been released yet. Why are people rioting if they haven't even seen the footage yet? So long story short, there was a guy named Seville Smith and he's a 23 year old who was stopped by the police. He got out of his car with a gun and took off running. So naturally the officer follows suit. This guy was told multiple times to drop his gun. He didn't drop it, so he got shot. All right, folks, this is exactly the kind of shit I'm talking about in my videos. What would compel somebody to get out of a car during a traffic stop with a gun? And the gun was stolen from a previous burglary. So now, like, the whole city of Milwaukee is losing their fucking minds, right? Like, people are rioting. They're setting cop cars on fire. The armored truck was, like, taking bullets to the back of it. They even set the BP gas station on fire. Cops are getting hit with like bricks and shit like that. And this all kind of leads me back to what I was saying in my last video. There is no self-accountability in today's society. And just for a moment, let's put self-accountability off to the side. We'll put that in a drawer for right now. We'll get that shit out later. Where is the logic in burning your own city down when you don't agree with something an officer does? That would be like if Bama called me or Dan called me and they pissed me off and I'm like, fuck this, I'm burning my house down. I'm even going to leave marks in the grass when I leave this bitch. I think people are just looking for a reason to be destructive. Don't call it protesting when it's clearly a riot. And I hate the media portrayals of these incidents. White officer kills black man and protests ensue. I would be a horrible news anchor. My ass would get fired the first day. Because I'm going to call it exactly what it is. White dude with a badge was trying to eat some fucking french fries on his much needed 10 minute lunch break. And then a wild dumbass appears and tries to rob a store. Officer tells dumbass to drop the gun. He doesn't do it. He gets shot. People are now blowing things up in the streets. Shit's crazy. Back to you, John. And what I hate is the media is such a huge reason why there's such a distrust between police and citizens. They always make it a race issue. I don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, or fucking leprechaun. If you have a gun and I'm telling you to drop it and you don't drop it, I will drop you. It's that simple. The moral of today's story is, again, as always, don't be a dumbass. Guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe. Deuces!